guys, JP here, back with another vid, uh, showing you some more work on the Power Rangers Pink Ranger Sculpt. Um, in this video, I just did a time lapse last night um, while I was smoothing the helmet. Uh, it's kind of a boring video, but if you're getting into sculpting, uh, it's a good tip to kind of learn. Um, what I'm basically doing is since the uh, Power Ranger helmets are very round, um, I wanted to get it as close to smooth uh, as I could while it was in clay form before it goes into the mold. Um, after it goes into the mold and I'm able to get a hard resin cast out of it, um, I'll then sand down all the bumps to the lowest areas and uh, come out with a smooth helmet. But uh, to decrease that work, uh, what I'm doing right now is basically cutting down all the high areas back down to the low areas. And then uh, I'm also adding a little clay into the areas that are just really dipped down low. So that's what I'm doing here. At the end of this video, I have some uh, pictures uh, up that show the helmet after I added the detail lines and also um, created a step in the helmet to give the helmet a little more dimension other than just paint on it uh, and you'll see what I'm talking about in the pictures but uh, yeah um, maybe tomorrow I will start putting rubber on the, uh, the helmet and we'll have a mold in a few days uh, that I could get a hard pull from so yeah, that's where we're at right now, and uh, thanks uh, everybody that's been commenting on the videos. Uh, I'm going to try to make more, and I'm going to try to make them better. Um, also, thanks a lot to all the new subscribers I've gotten this last week. It's been amazing. Uh, a lot of people have been uh, emailing me stuff, asking me questions and whatnot, and I love to share this. Uh, hobby making I mean uh, prop making hobby uh, so you know if you have any questions that aren't in my videos um, just feel free to contact me at two coast at live.com and I'll try to address them for you alright thanks guys